Hello from the 538 newsroom. This is the second night of the Iowa caucuses. We usually don't have a second night, but uh, you know, uh, these circumstances call for one. We just got 62% of the results in Iowa in, and so we're starting to digest those numbers. Nate, what do we see so far? Who's up, who's down? So we see a split outcome, which is something we thought was possible beforehand. Um, if you look at the raw vote count, which is when people, it's called first preference, you walk in your caucus site, you line up in group initially, Bernie Sanders leads that count by a few points. If you look at what happens after voters realign, um, which means that you can go, if you're not viable, if you're under 15% your candidate, you go pick a different candidate. That count, Sanders also leads, but it's very close, it's within a point. And um, leads Buttigieg. And leads Buttigieg, and all three, the same candidates are one and two, I think. I'm going from memory here, I think that's right. There is a third count, though, called state delegate equivalents, which, if you try to explain it, it kind of is a little bit crazy, right? Basically, it creates a weight assigned to each precinct, which is based on the turnout in the last two general elections, 2016, 2018. Um, Maybe think it, of it something like the Electoral College, where you have a popular vote, but then certain delegates get assigned. It's like the College, almost in the sense that it's almost like it's weighted by population, not by turnout. I mean, there's some other ambiguities. Electoral College is winner take all. This is not that, right? But right. like, you know, in that count, because he does better in rural areas and smaller precincts, Pete Buttigieg leads Bernie Sanders by 1.8 points or something, by two points roughly. And so um, right now, he's at 27% yeah, of those and, state And delegates. that's the one that the networks we're watching CNN, you should be watching ABC News, our network. Um, if you are watching CNN though, and probably ABC too, frankly, they're emphasizing that state delegate equivalent count because that is the traditional way that Iowa reports its vote. Again, I said beforehand, so you can see this on Twitter, so I'm not trying to spin for any candidate, right? I said beforehand, I think we should treat these um, metrics more equally. They are all legitimate claims to being a winner. So from my vantage point right now, we have Iowa having co-winners or a tie. But regardless of whether you pick state delegates or the popular vote, this is still only 62% of the results. So still only 60%. How we're, representative we're, do we think this is of the ultimate vote? Do we, we have know, any idea? We know very little about that. Um, you know, you asked me to take this video for a quick reaction, and like even the best people in the world um, have not yet kind of plugged this data in and seen which counties and precincts is it from. You know, I mean, it does match. What I would say is kind of other estimates that we have seen, right, where... Entrance um, polls, for example, doesn't match It's that. actually pretty close. And by the way, Biden's doing a little better than maybe some of the worst case spin last night. You know, fourth place is not good. Um, <laughs> it's a strong fourth place. It's not fifth place, right? Um, yeah, worth saying here that... But, you know, that, not very good for Biden. And not bad for Warren, by the way. But like... but like um, Warren is in third, But both saying. the Buttigieg campaigns and the Sanders campaign release data and you could kind of see if you look carefully at what they were saying that this is kind of the outcome you would have expected um, because on their last update the Sanders campaign reported the first two metrics and left off state delegate equivalents right the Buttigieg memo said we won Iowa and only talked about state delegate equivalents or emphasized that heavily right and so like actually this is, was telegraphed by the by the campaigns if you had good you know good Iowa geek reading comprehension skills as to what different things they're talking about here. All right, well, we'll get back once we have some more results and talk about those, but thanks for joining me for now. Thank you.